YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker, here at my desk again with another thrift haul. So, last week I went thrifting, or I attempted to go thrifting, uh, showed up to the store, uh, hours are switched around because of COVID, I get there, I pull in, there's people like pulling in and pulling out, so I was like, oh, why is it, you know, store's not open yet, what's going on? So I pull in, I get my bag of bags, because, you know, I'm prepared. I start to go up to the door, and the manager uh, peeks out and says, Oh, hey, uh, we're closed. Um, we had a, a small flood in the store. So the night before, it had been really windy, and, and it was raining, and uh, we had lost electricity here at the house for a couple of hours. So, yeah. So I don't know exactly what happened. So when I went, uh, when I went just yesterday, uh, it wasn't too bad. I was like, oh, I wonder if they got everything cleaned up or I wonder how bad it was. I mean, she came out, she literally had a mop in her hand. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, you got to deal with that. So ended up coming home and I don't know. But there's two other uh, savers. So by the time I would have left where I was at to go to the other one, the other one would have been open for almost an hour. And it was like, yeah, it was half price day. And I thought, excuse me, that's not, by the time I get out there, it's not going to be worth it. So this time I went, and of course you never know when you're going to do super, super good or when you're just going to be like nothing. So today I have for you three large bags. I spent $117. That's the half. That's the half price. So it would have been over $230 had I paid the real price. So crazy. So I, I have some clothes, but I don't have a lot. They had somebody had destashed their fabric. So you know how I am with fabric. So I have a lot of fabric. So I just brought the bags up. So you're going to have, I'm going to keep doing this because <laughs> my desk isn't big enough to hold everything I need and I need to get this stuff priced because the things that I do have for my antique booth have to go out tomorrow. So let's jump right in. I'm just going to show you what I got, uh, even the few things I got for myself and I think my daughter picked out some stuff and she's like, can you please hurry and do that video because I want my stuff. Yes, yes dear. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the glasses off so I can see. Uh, first item is actually a sweater that she picked out. Uh, I think it was, what, 375 So here's what it looks like. She is a freeze baby like I am. This is like a powder blue. So she picked this out because she is always, always cold. So I'm just going to throw that because that's hers. I think this is also hers. Um, she has a VCR and she does love VCR tapes. Um, and she loves animation. So I think that's basically why she picked this out. And it's called Osmosis Jones. So that was a whole 50 cents. So not too bad on that. She picked out a book. Looks like it used to be a library book called Shiver. I have no idea what it's about, but it was $1.79, so what, 80 cents, something like that. I thought this was really cool. This has an original price on it from Kohl's, $40. Now, of course, it was probably not $40. There's what the price is on it. I know it's backwards. I have my camera front facing so I can see myself. So that's why things are backwards. I figured that out myself. So these are four beer-isms. So they're beer uh, witty glasses to get the conversation started. Uh, there's four of them. So I paid three and a quarter. I didn't open them, but I gave them a shake just to make sure that there was nothing clanging around. And I will show them. I don't think I'm going to pull all of them out. But, yeah. Everything in moderation except beer. <laughs> and this one. Oh, these, are, they, these have never been out of the package. I do not get drunk. I get awesome. 
my son likes beer. Whenever I say that, people are like, oh my God, how old is he? He's 22. <laughs> but he, I don't know, I don't think he really drinks out of a glass. But he likes the really dark, strange, weird, like, if you saw this color in a mud puddle, you'd step over it. I can't even sniff the beer he drinks. It's blah. Uh, this one says, I have respect for beer. <laughs> and then this one says, beer is food and I'm hungry. I know you can't see that, but I don't want to waste all your time going through these because I have a lot of stuff to go through. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So I don't know. I think I'll look these up online and see what they're doing. But they'll probably go out and I will put them in my man area. I'll just take this off and then this, I'll put the price tag here and then I'll leave uh, that so people can see what the original price. I don't know. I'm thinking probably 16, 18 bucks for those. Somebody would be glad to have them in their man cave. Uh, another shirt. I think my daughter picked this one out as well. It's got a cowl neckline on it. It was two and a quarter. It's cute. Long sleeve, like an army gray and a huge thread. Ooh. I'm just gonna kind of pull my fabric out and set it here on my desk because I got a lot of it. Um, this is another top. I think I'm selling this one. It's a Sonoma. It was only $1.50. It's not normally a brand I get, but I thought it was cute. It is long sleeve. It's got a V-neck. It's kind of pretty. So I got that one to resell. Uh, I wrap stuff also in my fabric uh, because they usually don't have paper, and if they do, if I'm getting stuff, they can just wrap it in there. I got this cute little bud base. It's a hand-blown glass. It was only a dollar. So I might put a piece of bamboo in here and sell it. Or I might just keep that for myself. <laughs> um, I know my daughter's been looking for some cute boots. And she found them. I don't remember. Oh, these were four dollars. Here's what they look like. Aren't they adorable? And they got the zips in the back. So you don't have to lace them up. Like the old-fashioned days. So yeah. Pretty cool. Oops, something just fell out of that one. Oh, this is uh, this is one for my lucky bamboo, but I gotta do something with the bottom because it's that's the price tag. So I want to make sure this doesn't leak. But isn't it adorable? So yeah, that was only a dollar. Don't want to throw that. Now this I saw this and it was a good price, but I'm gonna save it until next year. But he needs a little repairs. Isn't he cute? Share the harvest. He was only a dollar fifty. Shush, Pixel. It has got these little dangly legs. The thing is, he evidently had a hat and some hair at some point. No, no. Somebody's begging for a treat. Uh, so this is all that's kind of left. And also his bandana. If you pull it down. So he's been in the sun a while, so I'm probably going to redo his bandana. Um, I have some raffia, and I also have some burlap that I could just whip up a cute little hat for him, and then he will be ready for uh, for next fall. It's funny because look at the color in his shirt. <laughs> so he's a little sun bleached, but isn't he cute? So I figure once I fix him up a little bit, I'll probably be able to put probably 12 bucks on him. I'm guessing. So that's my first bag. This is the size bags that I got. Okay. I'm going to show you too. I have in my car this bag. And I keep those bags folded up in here. So this bag has six bags in it. And then whenever I go thrifting or garage sailing or anywhere else that I need them, grocery shopping, I am all set. Um, I saw this and I thought, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's some more of his hair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a lamp that this would look nice on. And lampshades are not cheap. So 
So I found this one for a uh, dollar fifty, and it's burlap. Isn't that cute? Now it has a a price on here. It says missing parts or display. Uh, five dollars. So wherever this was, that's what it was being marked down. So I don't know if it was on a lamp. That, that's not anything that's just a piece of paper but there's nothing wrong with it so I don't know if it had a lamps and they're like well I guess all we have is the shade let's just sell the shade but for a dollar fifty and it's still wrapped um, for it and that is such a basic you know color that I think it's going to do fine it'll fit a lot of the lamps that I have um, let's see. Is this another one my daughter got? Oh my god, this neck on here. Look at this neck on here. It looks like Bazooka Joe. Do you know who Bazooka Joe is? Um, this one was only $3.50. Ugh. Did I get this one to sell or is this hers? I don't remember. I'll have to ask her because if not, I'm going to sell it. So there's that one. Here's my receipt. Is that crazy or what? Sad, sad, sad. There's a survey on the bottom too. I think that's why it's got that. Because it prints the price, does have off. Prints the price halfway off. So it's twice as long as it needs to be, basically. More fabric. <laughs> More fabric. This is so adorable. I picked this up. A lot of times you find these clocks and they're uh, plastic. This one's metal, and it's not super, super big, but look how deep and thick it is. Isn't that cute? I love it. So this one was only two dollars, and I have to put a battery in there to make sure it works, but I do really well on wall clocks. I don't know why, but I do. Oof, I got a container that's got a whole bunch of little stuff in it. Um, this I'm going to put by my nautical stuff. It says refuse to sink. I like that. That one was only a dollar fifty. So this will probably go in my booth probably five, six bucks. The clock I'll probably put twelve to fourteen. What else? What else? What else? Lampshade, I don't know. I don't it depends on the bottom that I'm gonna put it on. This I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but man, is it adorable. I saw it and I'm like, I'll figure out something for that. It was only a dollar fifty. It's this little dish with these birds on it. Isn't that cute? And these two little birds are like sleeping, so they have their heads turned. Isn't that adorable? Ah, oh, and that would be a cute little trinket tray or a little jewelry dish or, you know, just a catch-all on your desk. I buy these all the time, and they sell. They don't sell fast, but they do sell. And at a dollar fifty, I had to say yes. He's a little bird. He's like this mustardy color, and the wings have like a paisley design. Very cute. So that will go to my booth, probably five or six bucks. The little dish, probably eight bucks, I'm guessing. Um, I found a few things in uh, some little bags. Uh, I don't think this, this has an original price, maybe. Pier One, five dollars. I'm gonna open it up, but there's what it was. It was only a dollar. So, little fat bird salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they adorable? And then this guy. Isn't he cute? They're so adorable. So I usually sell my salt and pepper shakers for, I would say, 5 to $8. Maybe a little more if they're extra fancy. But these, they're marked individually at 5 no, $5. Pier 1. You can see the P1 on there. Uh, so, I don't know, probably six, seven dollars on those guys. Um, I got a couple signs. This was originally eight dollars. Uh, I paid a dollar. It says all you need is love and a bottle of wine. I have a shelf in my booth that is wine cork cages and wine signs and wine, you know, glasses and cute stuff. So that will definitely go on that shelf. Again, five, six bucks is usually my going rate on signs, unless they are, you know, much bigger or fancier or whatever. I did get some more salt and pepper shakers. These were in a bag for a dollar fifty. Open them up. So this one is asparagus. 
Uh, that one does not have the cork in it. This one doesn't either, and that's a tomato. Now, I usually like to have them with a cork in them in case people want to use them, but if they're really cute like those, I won't exclude getting them because they don't have a cork. These have, uh, these have their corks. It's an apple. <laughs> it gets split in half. <laughs> so they have their corks. Aren't they cute? So those will go into my booth. Again, $6, $7, I'm guessing. So three pairs of salt and pepper shakers. I'm putting them back in this container I have. <laughs> this is the container I have. $2.50. It's uh, Better Homes and Gardens. That's what that looks like. And it's got these sections, so you, know, you could put anything you want to in here, I guess. You could put, you know, utensils or napkins, or you could do a flower arrangement. It's got this cute little handle. So I thought for $2.50, I'd figure out something to do with it. Um, the galvanized stuff is still selling for me, so I'll keep riding that wave as long as I can. Ugh. Okay, last bag. Used to be in this thrift store, if you had something uh, that didn't have a price on it, they said, nope, can't sell it. And I know there's still thrift stores that do that. Uh, this one doesn't do that anymore. I'm so glad. So I found two, I keep sliding, two Lucky Bamboo um, holders to sell in my booth with bamboo, of course, in them. And they didn't have prices, neither one. So here's one. It's got this cute uh, teal and brown. It'll hold three, and they're individual, because sometimes they're all, you know, opened up together. Uh, so these, this one, and then this one has the three. I have sold these before, uh, put three bamboos in there, and sell them. I got almost like this iridescent going on. So I got up there, and I'm like, these don't have prices. She's like, is there any more back there? I said, no, because I like those, and I looked for them, and no. She said, how about $3.99 each? So I got them for $2 a piece. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I said, yeah, yeah, I'll take those. I'm trying not to put it somewhere where I'm going to knock it on the floor. Um, another wine sign. This may be the wine talking, but I love wine. <laughs> Dollar. Again, this will go on my wine shelf. Probably, I don't know, six bucks on that. Sounds good. Uh, I got this top to sell. It is a Catherine's brand. It was three and a quarter. It is a size 4X. There's what it looks like. And it has three quarter sleeve. And then on the back, it's this plain, I don't know, is that blue or black? I think it's black. But there's what it looks like on the front. Very cute. So that is definitely one to sell. More fabric. <laughs> We're going to do fabric last. Okay, this top I got, and I'm like, it's horizontal stripes. But I don't know. I just like it. Um, it is an Old Navy. It was only $2.50. And it's like a very light sweater material. But I like it. And then it has these, almost like a bat wing, and then this like cuff on the three-quarter sleeves. So I'm going to try that one on if it doesn't fit or it doesn't look right. I can always sell it. I mean, Old Navy is not a brand that I pick up to sell, but, you know, it's better than redonating. And like I said, I only paid two fifty dollars for it, so what do you want? Everybody's begging when I get on the phone or I get the camera out. Okay, this one, let's see. It is Elaine Bryant, 22-24. It was three and a quarter. This is just a basic uh, t-shirt style, gray with the stripes. It is a long sleeve, uh, v-neck. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm in between sizes right now in... As much as I'm happy that I am, it's still kind of a pain because I put stuff on and either it, I'm swimming in it or it's I bought it and I was like, I'll be in that soon. And I put it on and it's just snug enough. So I don't know. It is what it is. My daughter spotted this and she loves plants and she's constantly propagating plants. 
she saw this and said, I want it. It was only a buck fifty, and it's this little holder with these little test glass test tubes in it. Isn't that adorable? And then you put your plants in there. So this is the reason why she's like, you better hurry up and do that video because I want my plant thing. So that's done. Now you're all going to want to smack me. <laughs> but I keep telling you not to buy. And I saw it and it was a good price and it was new with tags. And I said, uh, I'm going to buy it. So yes, it's a Vera Bradley. Don't throw tomatoes at me. But this is what it looks like. New with tags. Bali blue. Not just a clutch. It was four. Can you see that? It was four fifty. It's like it is brand new. It's absolutely beautiful condition. It still has the card inside. Um yeah. The little card that comes with it. You know, thanks for your purchase, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something in the pocket. Oh, it's definitely new. There's, there's my silica gels. And it's got the magnetic. So, yes, I did buy a Vera Bradley. And I will put it on eBay, and I won't put a million dollars on it. But it's new with tags, and there are people that still like them. And the weird thing is, I saw some other ones that were about the same size that were beat up, and they had like $24.99 on them. So I don't know how this one got through for $4.50, but I don't even know why I looked at the price, because there's this automatic, they charge too much, nobody's buying them, blah, 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 blah. But here I am with it. I brought it home. So yeah. So be mad. <laughs> this little guy is going to need a little bit of work, but he's going to go into my booth and probably going to put, I'd say, probably 10 to $12 on him. He was only $2.50. It's a boxer. Now, as you notice, he's got a few issues on him. So I'm going to probably do a separate video and show you how to fix that up. But he's adorable. Uh, animal figurines always do really well in my booth. Dogs, cats, frogs, turtles, you name it. I even had a killer whale Shamu about that big, and somebody just bought that in my booth recently. So I will fix him up. He will go into my booth. This is an enormous piece of fabric I'm going to put in my lap. Uh, I think I got another piece in here, but it's, it's, something's wrapped in it. I'll try not to bust it. Oh, this is just so adorable. This again, another animal figurine. Somebody's going to love it because it looks like Fluffy that we used to have years ago. Buck fifty. There's a kitty. He's got a little, whoa, as I drop him. He's got a chip on his paw, but I don't know. I buy things like that more for the sentimental value. Um, he doesn't have any markings on him, but he's older. So I'll probably just put, I don't know, eight to 10 bucks and it'll go in my booth and somebody will love him. Um, another item that I just popped into the purse that I took out, uh, it was only uh, $2. Um, it's uh, JFK himself. Funny thing is he, uh, we just passed the anniversary of his assassination. And the reason I remember is not because I was alive. It was actually three to four years before I was born. Five years. Five years before I was born. But it happened on my parents' anniversary, <laughs> November 22nd. And it was 1963. My parents were uh, married before that. But I saw this and I thought, you know, I could put him on my man stuff and he... You know, somebody will buy him. I believe he was handmade by somebody because it looks like it is Anne, Anne SMO. So it looks like it was, you know, there you go. So somebody made him. It's only $2. I'll put the price tag back on for now. But there he is. So, yeah. And I, whenever I pick something up like this, I'm, I go like this because I'm feeling for a rough spot. See if there's any chippies on him. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to ask for that. But again, that can go in my man cave or my man items. And 
I believe. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I buy these because they sell. Um, this one was uh, 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 Tablecraft is the name of the, the item. It was only a buck fifty, and it is for your straws. Isn't that cool? Now I had somebody on a video when I showed one of these before said no, that is for a barber to have his combs in. You know how you know the difference? This part will have slits cut in it. So they have it in the disinfecting solution and then when they pull it up, the uh, liquid will drain off. So this one is for straws. Plus the taller ones will accommodate the straws. So it's got a little bit of sticky, a little bit dirty, solid glass, metal for the top. This will go for probably $14 to $16 in my booth. So yeah, people like those. And I believe that is all except for my fabric. So let's dive right into the fabric. Um, this piece I found was more than I usually see fabric priced at, but there's a lot of so there is probably at least seven, six, seven yards on this. It was $9.99 or $5 half price. I sell all of my fabric for $3 a yard unless it is an upholstery or it's an extra wide. Then I go a little bit higher. But this is a groovy, it's not old, but it looks kind of old. But just look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? So that will be uh, wrapped up and put in my booth. This one was $1.50, uh, and it's just like a pink with butterflies. Uh, so there's probably about two yards on there. There's this pretty uh, kind of 60s almost polka dot stripes. That one was only $1.50. There's probably, I'd say, two yards on that one. I kind of think these are all from the same person, and they had good taste, I will say. Um, this one was $1.50, and there's the colors on that one. There's probably only a yard, yard and a half on that one. This one's a pretty good chunk. It was $2, and it's just this basic uh, off-white with the flowers. Very pretty, but there's got to be three, four yards on there. This one was only $1, and it's that. There's probably a yard or a little more on that one. This is so pretty. This one says Joanne's on it. This is that pretty, it's like a chartreuse green. And that one was only a dollar. Again, yard, yard and a half. This one is so pretty, this aqua color with the little flowers. That one was a dollar fifty. There's about two yards on that one. This one I noticed after I got it home. I don't know if it's just, it's cut funny or what but it's this real cool blue stripe one. Uh, it was only a dollar. There ain't probably a yard on that one. Here's a uh, holly leaves and berries. That one was a dollar. Probably a yard on there. This one's kind of pretty and there's at least four yards on this one. I mean, it's pretty, pretty decent amount on there. That one was only two. They had another one that was kind of pretty, but it was also a lot, and it was uh, $9.99, but it looked like somebody had cut in it, and I was like, I ain't messing with that. Uh, this one was two different pinks in the flowers. There's probably a yard and a half on there. There's the screen check one. That one was a dollar. You should have seen me. <laughs> I was like grabbing them and throwing them in the cart. And then what I realized is I carry my purse on me. I have it hanging here on my chair. Um, I have a crossbody I wear, so I don't have it in my cart. But then I realized my bag of bags was under this mountain of stuff. <laughs> so I had I got another cart and I was kind of taking off hangers and throwing it in there so I could get. And then instead of putting it all in one cart, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to, so I'm doing this pushing one, pulling one. <laughs> and I saw the manager who saw me and she goes, looks like you're making up for last week. And I said, yes, I am. Um, this one is really pretty. Different tones of pink. Uh, there's probably a good two yards on there. That one was only $1.50. This one feels a little bit stiffer. 
It is a cotton blend of some sort. This one was $1.50. There's a good chunk on here. They're pretty. Oh, love this. Love this fabric. Oh, this one is very dainty and almost old fashioned looking. That was only a dollar. There's at least three yards on there. I mean, it's a pretty good chunk. Did I just have this one, or is this slightly different? No, this is slightly different. It's pink flowers, but it's got green ones in there too. That was only a buck fifty. There's probably a yard and a half on that. This is a pretty good chunk. Ooh, this one was ten dollars as well, but there's a lot of fabric on this one. And it's this teal with these little uh, medallions. And again, $5. Not too bad. This one is so cute. I love it. So it looks like a tablecloth with drinks and nachos and cactus. <laughs> Look at that. They're cute. Oh, I just love it. Some jalapenos. Um, two dollars. There's probably a good three yards on there. It was so funny when my kid, when my my son, my kid, my son, um, was talking about how hot peppers were and he liked them. And I said, "What do you mean? What kind of hot peppers?" And he said, "You know the jalapeno one." <laughs> so we call them jalapenos in my house. So that is all that I got. That's a lot. We are 31 minutes in. It's crazy. Are you still here? Am I talking to myself? Whew. So I wanted to get through this so I could give the stuff to my daughter and then I could get the stuff priced and put it in my little rolly cart so it can go out to the store with me tomorrow uh, because tomorrow's Wednesday and that's where I go on Wednesdays. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. All this is crazy. I don't know if this all would have fit on one table. I don't know. But uh, I know I will do other hauls from my table because I know some love it at my desk, some love it at my table. Um... I don't know. I try and do a little bit of this and that to keep everybody interested. So uh, that's all that I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little bell and hit all for notifications. You will get all of my videos and community posts. If I have any, uh, I don't know, surveys or anything, you'll uh, be the first to know. So I appreciate you tuning in and watching me. Um, all my social media is down in the description box, as well as a link to my eBay store. Who knows? You can go buy some of my junk. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. And until then, happy picking. Bye.